and my steps be guided by your promise. May evil never rule me. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, And now Israel, take notice of the laws and customs that I teach you today, and observe them, that you may have life, and may enter and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. See, as the Lord, my God, has commanded me, I teach you the laws and customs that you are to observe in the land, you are to enter and make your own. Keep them, observe them, and they will demonstrate to the peoples your wisdom and understanding. When they come to know of all these laws, they will exclaim, No other people is as wise and prudent as this great nation. And indeed, what great nation is there that has its gods so near as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call to him? And what great nation is there that has laws and customs to match this whole law that I put before you today. But take care what you do, and be on your guard. Do not forget the things your eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your heart all the days of your life. Rather, tell them to your children, and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord Jerusalem, praise the Lord Jerusalem, O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem, Zion praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates, He has blessed the children within you. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. He sends at his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow at his wall. He scatters softness like ashes. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. He makes his word known to Jacob. To Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words are a spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke, 
shall disappear from the law until its purpose is achieved. Therefore the man who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We should pour forth prayers at all times, dear brothers and sisters, but above all in these days of Lent, we ought to watch more intently with Christ and direct our petitions more fervently to God. For the whole Christian people, that in this sacred time, they may be more abundantly nourished by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the whole world, that in lasting tranquility and peace, our days may truly become the acceptable time of grace and salvation. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For sinners and the neglectful, that in this time of reconciliation, they may return to Christ. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves, that God may at last stir up in our hearts a version for our sins. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your people may turn to you with all their heart so that whatever they dare to ask in fitting prayer, they may receive by your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.